It's Tuesday, October 4th, 1253 p.m. My blood pressure is about 32 DPI, and I have diarrhea. I've had it for six days straight. All right, here we go. You know what won't give you diarrhea? HelloFresh, everybody. <laughs> HelloFresh has got your family covered with delicious dinners and so much more. Find quick breakfasts, wholesome snacks, and desserts you can bake with the kids. Get 65% off plus free shipping with code VALLEYCAST65 at HelloFresh.com slash VALLEYCAST65. That's right. <laughs> Go to HelloFresh.com slash VALLEYCAST65 and use code VALLEYCAST65 to get 65% off and free shipping. They're in my fridge right now, and they're absolutely delicious, and I can't wait to eat them. Don't feel like watching movies, so I'll watch people get them instead. I don't know how it goes. I think it starts with your Good read. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Valley Cast. We have some big announcements today. Joe started a new job. Elliot got married. And Steve hit a kid with his car. Let's get into Woo! it. Yes, I did. And I got away with it because it was actually the kid's fault. <laughs> what does that mean? What did he do? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Joe. I can't really talk too much about it because the case is ongoing. But my lawyer tells me that that kid shouldn't have been there at that late at night. So... <laughs> Uh, there's a whole thing going on here. But guys, look, I man. read that the kid was sleeping in his bedroom. Yeah, you went the through car... the wall. Yeah, but there's a di there's different definitions of what a bedroom is. Or a wall. <laughs> or a wall. <laughs> Your defense lawyer said he should not have been sleeping in the spare bedroom. That was not his yeah. bedroom, thus right. not your fault. I got it. Well, thankfully in California, they don't consider an alleyway a bedroom. So uh, so I'm actually pretty <laughs> lucky there. <laughs> Is this kid sleeping in the alley? I don't know. But I apparently I'm I'm going to be okay. So, uh, but man, this, let's stop talking about my crazy life. What the fuck, Elliot? Yeah, dude. What'd what you do? You do? What'd what you, do you mean? do? What are you talking about? Elliot, what did you do? All right, fine. I won $623 on a horse racing game on $1. And then the next day, I won another $250 Whoa. of horses. And then that I can't remember anything else that happened. Oh, I got married. I did get married. <laughs> that was fun. For wow, a dollar. You didn't got married. For a dollar. Did, was, yeah. this, was this a, did you have this planned or were you like, fuck it? <laughs> oh, good sip. Good hubby mug sip. <laughs> <laughs> hubby mug. Hubby mug. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Hubby mug. mug. <laughs> is he happy or is he smug? Doesn't matter. <laughs> hubby, mug. Mug. <laughs> hubby mug. Uh, hubby mug. <laughs> Uh, we'd play. We uh, we were planning a big wedding, and then we decided not to do that, and then we would elope. And I think about a month to six weeks ago, we were like, "I have some time off between school stuff. Grace is finishing up." And we were like, "Hey, let's go to Vegas and do it." Started planning it. Got a little tiny cell of group of people together, and then everybody planned it. Uh, the only thing that w w hampered it was this hurricane that came through. Uh, not. Uh, the hurricane of me and Grace landing. The hurricane in Vegas. of love. The hurricane of love. Uh, the, hur <laughs> the hurricane of raccoons, trash raccoons, uh, trying to trash up an already trashy city. But the actual hurricane complicated things a little bit uh, that went through, and I hope everybody's safe. And that was crazy. And it w all went wonderful. It was a wonderful uh, experience uh, the whole time. That's my review. So, uh, so you guys were like, we got to have a big. Because look, when I, when. When you and Grace got engaged, all I could think about was, man, that wedding's going to be tits. It was going to be tits, yeah. It was going to be like, probably <laughs> the coolest. Uh, <laughs> I know. And I was like, I really have sworn off weddings. I don't like them. I don't want to go to them anymore. I was asked to be a part of Whitney Moore and Jesse McKeel's wedding, and I was like, this is the Brag, last wedding drop. I'm going to be a part of. Yeah. So, um. I'm sorry I had to decline best man, Elliot, you were, but I, you were I said I didn't want yeah. yeah, you're a man of your word. Um you respected my that. decision to not be a part of a wedding again, but did I uh, did I I think I sure I told you, but we, when we were originally planning the uh <laughs> the wedding, like big, a big wedding, uh did I tell you that one of the things that uh Grace came up with that she wanted to do was at the end of the night give away a jet ski? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Very funny. Like one person there would win. One person yes. gets one jet. Ski. <laughs> and then so we thought good. if we went crazy and we could <laughs> figure it out that after we gave away the one jet ski, we would say, all right, one more thing. We have another jet ski to give away. <laughs> and then we would give two jet skis. But the jet ski would have to have like your faces on them or something. Yeah, yeah. It'd have to be big stickers of like, oh my God. Yeah, no, it'd be like there. a his, it'd be a his and hers jet ski. There you go. Just live it'd out be a hubby jet away ski. From each hubby other. and wifey jet ski. I was super disappointed, not with you getting eloped, but like Steve was saying, when it comes to the tits wedding that we missed out on, I know. I, mm-hmm. You also told us that you were going to have scratcher tickets on the tables for everybody. Yeah, and scrat- I, I yep. was really excited for that. Well, look, yep. Joe, I don't, we can't yep. just, we can't assume that there won't be some kind of event for a, yeah, a Elliot. people or anything, but we, there but. Won't. You know what? What's that? What's the status on that, Elliot? Are you done? No, we're gonna undo something in Palm Springs for people uh, to come by and parents to come and close friends to come and um, everyone will be able to congregate and meet. But it'll be still smaller than the original wedding. Which well, is good. Cool. I want to celebrate yeah. you. It'll be cool. You know, uh, assuming that Joe and I are invited, I want to celebrate with you <laughs> in, in some way. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you, Steve, You're can still I tell designing. you? <laughs> Can I tell you the name of the the chaplain that married? Yeah, us? yeah, please. Steve. It was Steve. Just Steve, just Chaplain Steve. Chaplain oh. Steve. And Chaplain Steve is a slightly older uh, gentleman who used to be a firefighter for Las <gasps> Vegas, and he kind of hit on Grace during the ceremony, which was interesting and funny. And then <laughs> yeah, he went off on a like ten minute tangent about personal issues that sounded pretty crazy. So that was pretty great. <laughs> and. Uh, and then we kissed, and then he again remarked how nice Grace looked, and I was like, okay, bud. And uh, and then he was like, I know you're looking forward to kisses. And I was like, all right, yep, 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 let's do it. Dude, and then uh, we were right away. Friggin' firefighters. I told you guys about my firefighter, like, friggin' firefighter story, right? What is it? Does it involve like, your asshole like- popping out? Uh, no. <laughs> there could have been a firefighter on the Gravitron. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> however... I, as you know, my wife has um, some health issues, and one time one of those health issues like really sprung, and she passed out in at our at her place, and I was really scared. And oh no! To do, and I called nine one one, and nine one one showed up, and when nine one one shows up, it isn't just the ambulance; they also send like a fire truck filled yeah. with firefighters. Five firefighters walk into my place, Jesus. and they are the buffest sexiest hottest men that have ever walked into <laughs> a place Monks. they're all just fit because all they do is work out when they're sitting around mm-hmm. waiting yeah. to go but they're like next level like lumberjack fit so <laughs> there's like strippers there's these like five they're... stripper lumberjack firemen <laughs> tending YMCA. to my wife and like uh... she's on the couch and she's coming back and i'm just like standing in the corner like this like and she's like, am I in heaven? This is my I, heaven. I wasn't, I wasn't able to do anything. Can you please help my wife better men? It sucks. She goes, <laughs> so I'm sorry, God, I, I have an my... erection. Uh, it was the me. worst. I'm like, I couldn't do anything. And then they all just like busted. They Kool-Aid man through my freaking front door. I'm a weak beta <laughs> loser. You guys are alpha. Uh, <laughs> Damn. You guys are coyotes. Heather Elliot was okay. Did, uh, Oh, good. I'm glad she ended up being okay. But man, that was a that, that was would just have been a, quite an ending to that story. Of it. <laughs> that was a, she died two days yeah, later. Uh, it was just a great reminder of uh, how not alpha I truly am, <laughs> <laughs> and how easy it is to be emasculated. By hey, well, you're man. helping my wife. Can I hold your axe? Oh, never mind. It's too heavy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Can, uh, I just lean, can you lean it against me? Can you get uh, so Elliot? I want to talk. I want. I want to talk a lot about the, this situation and and how you feel and how you're doing and all that stuff. But I also want to pitch to you guys a movie about giant hornets. So can we? So we can leave that for the end. We can Fore- pause. I, I foreshadowing. Mean, really no, because I have some questions. Tease. I have more okay. questions about things that you said I, or not done. Yeah, I'm sure I have question done. number one. Here we go. Okay, go ahead, Joe. What is it? Go ahead, Joe. Dopamine hits go. Serotonin. Just like, bam. Ooh, I'm in it right now. And I really feel felt that electric jolt of life. Was it the kiss? Or was it winning at the horse race? I was just going to say. I which one like felt better? <laughs> which one will you remember forever? <laughs> well... <laughs> 
And remember, you're just talking to the boys here. Yeah. Yeah. Man. If, if it kisses it's a dollar. <laughs> This will be when in that horse race was like 655 kisses. That's it's all I'm hard. saying. They were both so wonderful. It's hard to put one above the other, you know? Uh, both <laughs> experiences felt like it's, it's like picking your favorite kid. Exactly. Uh, it, it was definitely um, the it was. Let me we have talked about this quite a bit. I know Grace has talked about it on her memories podcast about how our favorite game is this pony racing. The horse thing, racing okay? thing. Yeah. Yeah. And with we, the little it, horses that go yes, around the track. It's hilarious and it's the best game ever. And I know, we've gotten a hundred percent success rate with getting everybody who's played this game with us completely addicted to it. And so <laughs> it was a lot of like, I gotta go do the wedding, but then like after we do the wedding, like we're all gonna like come back to the horse racing. And <laughs> well, of course you Chip, are. Chip, <laughs> Mamrie's boyfriend, was he works for a show called Bar Rescue, so he spent time in Vegas rescuing bars, uh, and so therefore he knows the area. And he was like Friday night. He was like, "Why don't we go downtown? There's on the in the D. There is a version of the horse racing game that is the original horse racing game from like the 50s, 40s, something Whoa. like that, where you have to put in actual quarters." that go down into and there's it. a and mistreated employee behind it cranking the wheel basically <laughs> and there's real yeah. horses yeah and there's real horses yeah inside <laughs> the machine <laughs> one just on just like a hamster wheel in a circle. <laughs> when you said chip works for bar rescue i thought you were gonna say so he goes to vegas a lot sabotaging bars so they can turn around and bar rescue them that's what he does yeah they, it's <laughs> movie magic uh yeah, that was real fun. And then uh, the whole wedding experience was just a bunch of trying not to cry. And then when it was over, it was just trying to get pictures done. And then when that was over, it was eating a nice dinner. It was a great day. It was a perfect day. I got Do no you notes. feel relieved that it's like you got it done so easily? Like, And, and I guess I say yes. easily because I'm standing on the other end of this. But was it easy to do? And do you feel relief? Both, yeah, it was very easy. I highly recommend eloping. I wasn't right? too sure about it. The only issue is like, you know, like you're saying, we want a bunch of people together. We want everybody to have like a big celebratory thing. But it was also like, we can also go do this and then do something else later. And this just felt more fun. And it felt more low key. And when it was done, it was like, man, that was a nice, uh, it was so sick. Even like we landed and we we're like, we got to get to the hotel. We got to like the photographer has to come into the room to take, you know, look around and scope it or scout it out for light. And so but then we got to go get the license because we have to get the marriage license in order to get married because I guess that's a part of it. And it says that could take up to an hour. And so we we're like, well, I guess we got to go do this now. So we take all of our luggage directly to this what's called the marriage license bureau. And it looks like a DMV, <laughs> basically. Sexy. And it's got the word weddings uh spray painted on the outside of the building in giant letters <laughs> and so we walked in and Can't we waited like it. yeah we waited like five minutes and they're like you guys can come over here and i'm like okay it should be under like this name and they're like okay we should need your id all right pay this fee and then take an oath and uh and so we have to like raise our right hand and say all these <laughs> words and then they give us the thing and they're like all right take that to the efficient and uh, congratulations so and that... then they throw rice at your face and you go, exactly <laughs> yeah and <I> go, <laughs> so uh, that was that the official marriage that was actually i don't think so they still have to because we it had to be signed by the officiant okay so the legal official thing happened at the ceremony yeah and then we get like a copy of the thing afterward or something that's i oh i wonder if we packed it i did make a joke that we might forget to (laughs) that means you're not married it's illegal you're illegally married Yep, I'm there you go. The I'm calling the cops. Doesn't we had a good run. Doesn't we had a good run. Doesn't count. Doesn't, doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. It's not real. It's not real. Now not you real. Put that hubby mug ready. down. Put the hubby mug down. Get those jet yep. skis ready, baby. <laughs> Get this away, hubby mug away from me. You should still give away one jet ski at your at the like Just hang. One jet. Yeah. <laughs> Just for no so, reason. It's, that was such a like kind of a sign that we really shouldn't do a big wedding because we were like. This I is a it. this is such a f u gift to somebody. Like yeah, somebody no has to take that home. Like what if yeah? And they're like, well, we're gonna help them transport it. Like no, you know. I know. I, I, I was Jetsky. thinking, I was thinking like, what if Kevin Plackey got it? Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> like, he lives in an apartment. Like, where is he going to uh, keep it? Where do you keep a jet ski if you live jet, in an apartment? Jet skis are one of those things where, like, when you see them out on the water, you're like, oh, that looks fun. But it, they're always so far away that you, <laughs> your scale of size is totally thrown off. They're huge. Imagine a jet ski in your living room. They're fucking huge. <laughs> they are huge. This yeah, it's like a Harley Davidson, like having just a giant 
thing, but you're getting with no wheels. You can't stand it up. It's a perfect gift. Dad gets uh, dad gets first dibs Regrets, on the jet yeah. ski when it's movie night. Dad, dad gets to sit on the jet ski. No, yeah. It would literally take up my whole living room. That's crazy. <clears throat> you guys are uh, assholes. I'm glad you were alone. Yeah. <laughs> it was very fun. I it think, was good dude, stuff. I'm really proud of you. And Thank I you. Uh, and I'm pr- and I'm so happy for both you and Grace and uh man, what an exciting thing. And also, I love that you loped, dude. I love it. That means I don't have to rent a suit. I don't have to like. <laughs> right. He was thinking about you the whole time. Man. I don't have to get fancy. I don't have to worry uh, about. When yeah, they it was awesome. driver. When they got married, like when I Elliot told me this in confidence, but I'm gonna tell you now. I feel like it's okay. But when he asked Grace, Grace went, "Yes, of course." But what? A, what about Steve? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna. They've have been. To a suit. They've been thinking about you the whole time, buddy. Steve doesn't have a Which suit. Is, that we even know. it's kind of like a recurring theme. Like the wedding night, we're back in the room after everything's done and finally alone grace, grace like put her hand on my chest and she was like just one thing like what about steve what about steve yeah and i was like baby and you're okay. like we can, have, we can enjoy this and i'm like and wearing like... a leopard <laughs> i'm wearing leopard uh underwear yeah and the what was, what was sex for the first time in your life like elliot <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad you waited till marriage yeah thank you <laughs> second and i, re- I waited till my second marriage uh <laughs> I, I knew it was good. I had to save it for that special person. Uh, Pent up guy over there. But of yes. course, when you say that Grace was thinking about Steve, she meant the guy that like married you guys. <laughs> yeah. Because he what about, charmed her. What, what about, about Steve? Steve? He's over there. He's in the room changing. He's, <laughs> he's, freshening, he's freshening up. That's so weird. That's such sitcom stuff. You're going to have fun kissing her later. <laughs> oh, it is, I know. It is so much. I know, I know. And you know, like, we, I've been, we do, people know that, oh, oh, there's something we got to talk about, too. This is diff- completely unrelated, but I wanted to mention it. J- Joe, you sent it last week. Great, because uh, I can segue into my Hornet movie I want to pitch. Perfect. Uh, uh, the Green the- Hornet. <laughs> no joe it's called blue hornet and ah. i thank you to not step ahead of me i apologize <laughs> please don't take going this back don't a couple chapters please don't take uh, this away from me <laughs> but basically this whole thing is being officiated and this guy is talking and you know how like we are a improv group and we kind of the fall back on and stuff there's yeah. a little bit yes. of entertainment and that happens i found myself just <laughs> nice. openly like doing like a uh, like thing to grace occasionally because we would be like staring at him and he would say something and i would just immediately turn to her like did you hear what he just <laughs> like, <laughs> and i was like did you no, hear this please. asshole over here and, it's, it's, and i just like really nod like really dramatic yeah right on absolutely uh-huh. love is the valley uh-huh. of roses with a storm overhead that you know comes and goes throughout life and the beauty of love blah blah, blah. uh anyway Marriage is we like have, a glass that's half full. Yeah, it's a, the ring is a circle <laughs> circle because it represents the infinity of love. No beginning, no end. Blah 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 blah. And then he anyway. just repeated, "No end." It was beautiful. No end. No end. No, no end. <laughs> and it sound at one point he was like, "Sometimes things come out in life that you can't expect, like a hurricane. My hurricane oh. happened two years ago, and everyone was like, "What happened, Steve?" And uh, and then he just moved on. But besides that, it was really great. <laughs> oh my God. Really great ceremony. Uh, this guy's dealing with some shit. <laughs> so I like it. We got to mention uh, that we've learned something. I've learned something, which is that in our audience uh, here at the Valley uh, folk, we actually have a uh, member of the Space Force. A couple of and, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, a couple. Really? So we Holy got corrected. Shit. We got schooled. We got very politely corrected. That's what I was going to say. We got educated. Humorously they, educated. Yes. They didn't take our ignorant jest to heart, and they were just like, yeah, we're the Space Force, but here's the facts. And I was like, thank you. Yeah, it but was for those of you that are listening to this episode because you want to hear about Elliot and Grace's wedding and you've never listened to this show before in your life, the last episode, we went on and on and on about how ridiculous the Space Force is. <laughs> I, I think we evolved in real time, however. I mean, we, did, we kind of evolved in real time, but but the person that like reached out to us was like, it's funny that you guys were like grilling Space Force because... <laughs> 
<laughs> nobody really even talks about Space Force. <laughs> and nobody really knows what it's all about. But yeah, this guy like straight up was like really good, good uh, spirit. What do you say? What How do you say when they were like a good sport? I like it. This yeah, guy was great a good spirit. sport. Just like educated us, like like took his time or her his or her time to educate us on everything yeah. and anything about the Space Force. It was a novel and it was awesome. Do you want to <laughs> read it? You know what he did? I mean, it's a pretty long one. I would recommend people I read some of it, I guess, but um he also like had such a sense of humor about it himself and even made jokes and explained That's what I'm why they're funny. It was so nice. And then it was just like, oh, I'm learning way more than I ever thought I needed to learn about about Space Force. So hey, <laughs> That's but neat. the cool thing was, was that like, I didn't know there was more than one because this one I'm reading was from five either. days ago. Is that the one you guys know about? This is the real long one. There was another one in there of, of another chap um, speaking about it as well, but also the Space very Force, kind. The Space Force and Air Force Space Command before us. So that's what it turned into Boom. from basically runs and protects military satellites. That includes GPS, the same thing you use on your cell phone or car GPS. Also, military satellite communications and satellites in space that detect missile launches anywhere in the world, among many other missions. We also have ground radars to track missile launches as well as systems that track all the junk in space that we may need to maneuver our satellites around. We, of course, do some surveillance on our adversaries with various satellite systems as well. I mean, just kind of, it's like, yeah, they, they're, a spa- they're the space force. Yeah, and at Basically, some point, what, goes, you find is what do we space. do? We, uh, yeah, we protect um, Russia and China pretty much. That's it. But I love that this person <laughs> says yeah. they've they've been an officer in space force since day one and was in the air force space command which was which is what became space force for 12 years before space force existed so this mm-hmm. person's like in it and they they open their their whole story by saying i'm staring at my signed the birthday of joe print above my computer right now so this guy's been like a fan for like a real long time which is so strange to think about that there's like people like we've had lawyers and like police officers and like also like i think mike and i read a, a history road about a guy that cremate that like comes to pick up your dead animal and then cremates them when they die so we have like all without the, without telling you without asking or <laughs> telling you <laughs> yeah they don't <laughs> excuse me what are you doing in my living room what are you doing with sparky don't worry no! about it it'll be dressed as like a santa claus <laughs> i gotta go fix him it's, work santa. <laughs> it's his time but yeah it was really cool um but I loved that. I love that we just got politely schooled by someone who yeah is in the, it's the best way to get schooled. Because I was like, yeah, oh, was as great. I was reading, I was like, oh no, is this gonna? Did I? What did we do? And uh, and I was like, oh, this is now I'm more interested than I am fearful mm-hmm. of. What this yeah, because if it was a if it was like a well, actually, from someone who just like ne- like went to Wikipedia and did like a copy pasta or whatever, right? I'd be like, all right, cool, thanks. I guess I could have done that. So much better that it's someone who's actually in Space Force. Mm-hmm. I appreciated the ribbing that you just gave me. Let me give you a little bit of education on the Space yeah. Force. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because there was also that person when we did those like trailer music things, those sketches with like trailer music, and then that person was like, "Oh yeah, me and my partner did the uh, um, pure imagination." thing from uh whatever movie that was i forgot what movie it was where pure imagination had like a a weird like mashup trailer version oh it's cool. real slow and the piano music is slow but they were like yeah we we kind of started the whole like slow cover song thing in the like the movie trailer huh. world which is still going on to this day Anyways, highly um, recommend go to the previous episode, go to the comments and read that. Yeah. If, you if you're interested in learning about Space Force from somebody who is space in the Force. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Now back um, to me. Um, so listen, <laughs> in my time. Uh, yeah. uh, any further questions at this time? Yeah, so you, did you net negative at all? Did you, you, you were net positive with uh, winnings in Vegas or did you lose some? Did you lose more than you won? Yeah, I was net positive, but I was net. Uh, if you if you count how much I've donated to the casinos over the years, it's going to be negative. That. But on the one. trip, donating to the casinos. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, it was like you know he's up a under a couple hundred bucks and down a couple balls. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, 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 hey. What is that? Ah. 
<laughs> that's great man well congratulations uh, to mr and you. mrs elliot morgan uh i'm taking grace's first name so so you're grace morgan and she's mm-hmm. grace morgan also Hell big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you guys are both great man we're both grace morgan it'd be so Thank funny you. if somebody was just like for yeah we're just switching first names i decided to take her first name yeah let's yeah. just do it we'll- <laughs> While we're here, let's go ahead and switch first names. <laughs> exactly. You're so funny. and I'm Grace now. Rice to the face. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Uh, yeah, all good stuff. Oh. Can I pitch to you guys my Hornet yeah. movie now, please? please I've do. been dying. It's like, God, when are we going to be done with this wedding bullshit? <laughs> I know. I'm like, boring. <laughs> okay. I've got an idea for a movie where giant hornets come to attack los angeles okay we're talking big like bigger than the murder hornets all right i'm talking like bulldog like french bulldog sized hornets and you and people are like fighting them off it's like a big fun horror movie or whatever and it's like scary and then (laughs) there the city becomes overwhelmed and it seems like nothing can stop them the military's been trying to shoot them their their hornet armor is way too strong for conventional bullets okay they're just like not dying and then this little kid who's like in in in, like loves science like a big science nerd this little kid goes to like the president and goes all we have to do is put soap inside of the fire like the fire truck and okay. mix it with the water okay. and just fire soap and water at them and they'll die because soap and water kills wasps i don't know if you okay. guys know this okay i didn't know like, that it instantly kills them for some reason nobody thought of this but this little kid did and then the little kid saves the day and that's the end of the movie the movie ends with people all over the world spraying soap and water at these things and they just die it's really it's really it's it's like a big epic ending <laughs> but it makes you feel like it's epic but you don't even but then you leave the movie theater and you're like but really that's just it like it ends with them just spraying soap on them and it's like die. the end of war of the world where it's like wait a minute <laughs> they got sick yeah did they all just die they got <laughs> cold <laughs> yeah they're dead yeah uh, yeah it's all like right a signs <laughs> yeah pouring water or it's on just water yeah like think <laughs> signs but not aliens hornets and there's soap in the water yeah and also like people will be watching this movie and going like you could kill hornets really easily with soap and water did you know <laughs> they just like telling you <laughs> and it, like people will know so you're, you're doing this just to spread the knowledge <laughs> yeah. it's basically a documentary or, or a how-to video <laughs> with, a, a, with a with a three <laughs> 13 million dollar budget there's an anti-hornet propaganda movie it's like uh the uh the fucking um let's go brandon movie that just came out what the fuck is that called? the one about hunter biden yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh that's uh, it's a hor- is yours called hornet <laughs> biden <laughs> by the way i think we should watch that and review it on the show that sounds oh, interesting um, hunter biden movie <laughs> anyway what do you guys think about this hornet movie are you in the pitch was way shorter than I thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. Uh-huh. Look, I know usually I got long-winded pitches and I've got a bunch of different bullet points and stuff, but really I just haven't seen a good giant bug movie in a really long time. And I think you could make it funny and kind of gross and and like scary, but also make it like the <laughs> stupidest ending ever. <laughs> Uh, it what? just sprays soap at them and they die. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> did they? But, um, did... but they can make it feel like a big, grand, awesome finale. Mm-hmm. Like the movie really, because you know, like when you watch a thing and there's the sad piano music playing, and it's like because of the sad piano music, you're like, oh, I'm sad now. It's like that's what the movie's doing. The movie's like bringing this big epic finale with the music swelling and stuff. But really, a lot of people are gonna be like, really, that's it? <laughs> Just spray <laughs> these guys with soap? I have a question. Okay. Um, are is the boy, the little boy, who's yeah. into science? Does does he know what to do the entire time? So it's about him getting to the president. Yeah, 
Okay, so yeah, he's he knows just the entire going time. Going around to people and being like, "I think soap and water." We just need to spray and everyone's soap like, and water. Shut up, kid. Yeah, shut up, you little idiot. Yeah, they're just okay. ignoring him, and then finally he's like, "Everyone's like, we're doomed." <laughs> like even these like professionals. Does anybody like, have any idea? Are arguing on TV. We gotta start. We gotta strike at the. We gotta find the nest and destroy the queen. And then we'll survive. And there's like these scientists going like, no, we've got to s- inject them with this serum that'll kill them. But and there's one in the back that's just like, we should have sex <laughs> with <laughs> the hornets. <laughs> <laughs> we should do a big fake hornet that looks sexy and bring it into the. <laughs> that's just the plot of uh, <laughs> award-winning director Andy Mogren's Pterodactyl yeah, Terror yeah. USA. <laughs> Don't you be a, uh, don't you plagiarize. Yeah, but you know, no, no. Andy's not the first person to do that. Like Gary. Big, big sexy pterodactyl. Because you always did what? Bugs Bunny did the sexy outfit to try to fool people. Yeah, I did. And and the Trojan horse was sexy, wasn't it? Oh dude, so sexy. Such a hot and horse. It was a hot horse, yeah. <laughs> you couldn't deny it. That's why they brought it in. They were like, Damn we don't it. need any more big giant horses, but this one was sexy. So they were like, oh, well, we need, well, yeah, yeah, it's a hot horse. Room for one more. And now I we're just this- laughing. <laughs> I started laughing randomly uh, at some memory of y'all, you and Mike talking about not opening a horse. Don't open the horse. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice little. Uh, like, don't want to open. Don't, don't it was open just something horse. we wanted to, people to know. You shouldn't open your horse. You shouldn't really open anything that shouldn't be opened unless you're a professional you can open a horse if you're a vet probably or but a yeah, so, horse opener there's exceptions to all rules maybe i can go to andy with this idea and it could be one of those andy movies those like green screen mm. andy <laughs> those andy movies at least for the pitch maybe like a two minute trailer yeah yeah take it yeah out. but it's but gotta just... have a good name hornet on I... main <laughs> <laughs> Hornetwood. Hornet on Main Street. <laughs> Hornetwood. That's good. Hornet Apocalypse. The Invincible Hornet. Dot 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 question mark. <laughs> I like too that it's only them they're attacking Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Like you just were like, that's where I live, that's where they attack, but I don't know if they're attacking the whole world. Well, because or- because you got to use major cities, right? Like it's always New right. York. You expect, but it is it to be all New over York. the world, right? Like the, the yeah, yeah. Is. It's just okay. that the main story takes takes place in Los Angeles. So I do you think there's a kid in Los Angeles who's into science. <laughs> <laughs> his got you, Los Angeles. Moved, his parents moved them here. Got from... you, place I live. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's smart people here? Yeah. Well, I, I, <laughs> but yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it done. I want to. I want to. I just miss big bug movies. Like, when was the last time you saw a big bug movie that you liked? Starship Troopers. Exactly. That's it. Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> Dominion. Out early this year. <laughs> that scene from in it. King okay. Kong. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Because that's that's like scary and fucked up, dude. Nature I didn't see- documentaries. If you get really close to the screen, you, really close <laughs> to the screen, Big the video up. game from N sixty four, Jet Force Gemini. Dude, Anybody? there's also like a series of games where you like fight bugs, the giant bugs, bug you know- fuckers. It's a <laughs> super bug fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, speaking of fastest tangent, but I'm very excited about it. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I, I have every once in a while we'll play the Fortnite with the kids and sometimes with you, Steve. And I, I'm a, one of those like uh, uh, penny pincher dads that's like, I'll yeah. pay for the battle pass, but I will never buy a skin. Yeah. If Freddy Krueger truly comes oh. out, I will be getting that Freddy Krueger and or <sighs> Jason Voorhees skin in freaking Fortnite. Are you kidding me? Dude, they like uh, they released a. Uh... Oh, it's called Earth Defense Force. Ah, I remember that. Yeah. Right. So Earth Defense Force still hap is still a, a video game series that like they're still making games. Uh, but they I are. Like, big. Yeah. I like how aggressively lazy the plot is. I do like that, and I like <laughs> I like the idea of somebody pitching a movie who clearly. You, it- you find out very quickly that they really genuinely don't understand how movies operate yeah. plot wise. There was like, no there was no did, human element. No human there was no arc of a story. It was just oh. the bugs are attacking, but they fix it. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, you the sm- the writers can figure out all the in between shit. There you I'm go, saying, smart. Never it, do anything for free. It's been a while since we've got a big bug movie that was fun. Like I feel like they tried the last one they tried that could have that had a lot of promise was Eight Legged Freaks. You guys ever mm-hmm. see that movie? Mm-hmm. Uh, they they had like a big giant spider movie and uh, uh, seven it, time Academy Award winner uh, David Arquette is in that's movie. right David Arquette is the star Ooh. of the movie mm-hmm. and uh, but I feel like it's time for another big bug movie I didn't see Jurassic World Dominion but I heard there's big locusts or something best one yet yeah best one yet. <laughs> in every every single like uh, there's there was this big run of uh, arcade games where you would sit in like a chassis a cabinet with yeah a gun, and it would move <laughs> and you'd move and a lot of them were jurassic park but or there were just like mm-hmm. dinosaur themed ones it doesn't matter what franchise it was if it was dinosaurs or some other kind of big thing level two inevitably always had big ass bugs coming at you <laughs> yeah. every time that's very yeah. fun <laughs> was it like this like a template kind of deal like how disney it must have been just mad living it, it. but people are just like i guess it's like let's uh what's what's another fear things that'll eat you oh insects level two boom well that's plus it. those games are no one will get past like them. dude level like... three's fear of commitment is fucking incredible <laughs> <laughs> Those games are meant to be like quarter eaters. So like, they're like, if we throw a big swarm of bugs at them, they won't be able to kill every single one. <laughs> no, we're going to get some. It's like the it's like the one yep. thing that gets like your life down a little bit in the game is like when they throw swarms of things at you. Because there's no way to avoid all of those things. I and feel like they're like, the ooh, here's some innocence. And then you accidentally shoot the innocence and you lose life for yeah, like, yeah. full on like guys for <laughs> yeah. doing that. Dude, there's this guy that I think I've told you about this guy one year for my birthday. This was like maybe five or five plus years ago, maybe more. I went to this Dave and Buster's. Maybe I told you guys about this. I had a little birthday party at Dave and Buster's and there was this fucking guy at the Time Crisis game. And Time Crisis is the one with the plastic guns and you're like shooting the thing and there's like a pedal so you can hide behind stuff. Mm, Time Crisis was great. Yeah, Time Crisis is great. But this motherfucking guy had like a harness, like a gun. He had like gun holsters. <laughs> I swear to God. And he was like the sweatiest person I've ever seen. He's wearing these leather gun holsters. He's boondock saints in he the takes motherfucker. takes two plastic guns out of the arcade machine and puts them into his like Absolutely. little leather holsters. Oh and then he like pops them out and goes. Dah, 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 dah. And I was like, <laughs> dude, this guy is amazing. And I remember Harley was there and he was like really fascinated by this guy. And then put him in like a vlog he was making or something and fast forward to like less than a month ago and i'm at this arcade this barcade in north hollywood and i see this motherfucker again and he's at the time crisis or whatever the fucking gun game there's a bunch of dude and he had the leather fucking like holsters for the guns and everything and i was like fuck i gotta talk to this fucking guy so i go over to him and i'm like dude you might not remember me, but like over maybe 10 years ago, I ran into you at a Dave and Buster's and you're doing the same shit. You had your <laughs> posters and your fucking kid. And he's like, yeah, you guys put me in your vlog. I like followed you guys. And I guess you just, I don't know, like you never followed me back. And so I just, <laughs> just figured you'd... <laughs> imagine, right? You walk up on this dude. He does the the double holster pull out a la Boondock Saints. It goes crazy. He doesn't reload. He throws the guns to the side. They recoil on the black cords that keep them too <laughs> yeah, close. Yeah, yeah. They, cl- back. they clank on the ground. And then all of a sudden, there's another cord that goes over his shoulder. And he just reaches back a la Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah. He pulls oh, yeah. it on another one off the back of his <laughs> Plugs it in, keeps going. <laughs> Takes it up. cuts to the back. And there's like a tape holster. Like like yeah, a back and he just yeah. pulled it out. <laughs> but the whole yeah. time he thought he was hiding it, but there was this cord clearly going guy. up. Yeah. <laughs> Do it's you very think obvious? I love let's, that guy. Let's, let's go back 25, 30 years. Let's go back in time together, right? <laughs> All right. This guy goes, Hey, hey, Dave, Dave, um, come in here, man. Come here. I got some excitement. Okay, Buster, what's up? <laughs> uh dave sit down um we got the financing we're gonna get to do this cool adult arcade bar restaurant thing it's gonna be awesome i think it's gonna be very successful but i just want to like run something something by you dave sure 
do you, do you want to change your name? <laughs> what do you mean? I just, do what you what change... don't you like about my name? I just, you know, Dave and Buster. Like maybe it's just something a little bit more there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, that is a lopsided name in terms of fun. <laughs> I just, I wanted to do, I wanted to go work for Blockbuster. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like Ben and Jerry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes more sense. It's like Dave it's and like... Buster. Listen, uh, asshole, maybe we should change your name to Jerry. <laughs> Dave and Jerry's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> asshole. Um, he was asshole. There's something about ben and that asshole. guy. These guys that they find something like a video game that they like and they go, I like this. I'm going to become really good at it and I'm only going to play this and I'm never going to stop and I'm going to get accessories for it. That single minded <laughs> love of something is really. Yeah. Great. Dude, and and those... to be like a little bit of a local celebrity kind of. And Every yeah. DDR player yeah. in a small town. They just like, goes. That's what Chip, guys... uh, Mamrie's boyfriend is like a DDR. He's the best person I've ever seen in person do DDR. It is oh, really? insane watching. We yeah, were trying there's... to find one in, in Vegas, but we couldn't do it. He was like, the times I have seen him do it, he, it's like he's floating in air. While it's crazy. It's very fun. It's impressive oh. to watch people who are really good at that yep. game kill it. it. Starts floating. There's an arcade in Burbank called Round One. It's like a big like uh, bowling alley arcade place. And when you walk in, there's like an entire row of DDR machines and there's just all these fucking weebs hanging out at it, just like dancing all night. Like they're just, they're just, they do like, they're still like huge DDR fans that mm -hmm. are just like absolutely crushing it at DDR. Hey man, I wish I was good at DDR. How I fun. know. <laughs> How fun yeah. would it be? It looks cool when they're yeah. really good. You're like, holy shit, that kid's got some moves. It's also right. like the healthiest thing you could ever do in yeah. any of those environments. Yeah, I know. It just sucks. The home versions were never the same as the arcade version. They just couldn't, couldn't mm -hmm. do it. Um, hmm. I would like a little uh, refresh. Uh, uh, like you know how things come back and become like nostalgia gets reinvigorated. Yeah, I'm. I think it's fucking time, man. We need the genre of fake instrument music games Dude, to come I've back. I've been saying this for back, so yeah. long. They're so fun. For so fucking long. Those games are so fun. Did, did you see? Did you guys see the trombone one that just came out? <laughs> I no. think I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Elliot, Elliot, I gotta show you. you. Put it on. You blow into it for real. Well, really? okay. There's probably isn't more a, of a just a. There, there isn't a okay, controller. Yeah. Just there little, isn't. Oh, a, there okay. isn't a controller. Oh, but no, there's not a controller. But there needs to be one. It's it's uh it's just straight up wow look at that even the vlog brothers did a trombone champ video we we should do a uh, <laughs> trombone we, should champ. we should do a Dave and Buster's trip at some oh I would love uh, that so much dude I would love that uh okay I've, so I haven't been in a while I'm that's classic you've all been waiting for put a control all right <laughs> all right so <laughs> oh, shit now it's switched to Pokemon. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's the greatest thing I've ever heard. You can kind of hear it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> so, Steve, if you're saying there's no controller, how do you play it? You play with your mouse up and down. Oh. So you, you push your mouse up and down. Here's the official trailer. And thank you for. <laughs> so anyway, it's really it's cool. Brilliant. What a it's brilliant like just play with your senses <laughs> like the yeah. humor inherent in just a sound being a little bit off on a yeah. song that you know it's so funny it's dude so i good. played it on stream the other day and it and people loved it people love watching you play that because it's Man. just like 
it Absolutely. brings joy but i want a controller man i want a trombone controller so bad yeah you just, just do the, it would just be like you know exact would, spots yeah, on the yeah. on the slide yeah, yeah exactly exactly it it's might so be a, it might need a ui refresh if they were going to do that but man it looks so cool i had a but, thought recently where i was like because I, I was i was a brass player growing up i played hmm. trumpet and as most people that play trumpet they think trumpets are the fucking coolest it's for the cool kids in band class yeah. i have grown up i have matured I have evolved. There's nothing cooler than a fucking trombone. Trombones are cool, man. They're really oh, cool. I, are you going into all every orchestra? Just uh, brass. I'm just talking brass. Just, just brass. I'm just okay, talking gotcha, brass. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, trombones are pretty cool. You like that more than a tuba? Oh yeah. Definitely cooler than a horn. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Well, guys, just the I ability the, uh, to the do that asshole. Sans. Yeah. <laughs> the Comic Sans font choice is always uh, You know it's fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is a wacky game and I like that it's it was made by people that are like absolutely fucking around. Like there's a whole like story mode with like baboons and magic and stuff. It's real strange. <laughs> Ellie, that's um, so funny. What if like God forbid we have to, but let's say we have to serve somebody legally in the next couple years. We should do it in Comic Sans font. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, that would be um, <laughs> that would be that kind of creative uh, oh, way man. to fu kind of deal would be uh, insane, absolutely insane. I like coming up with hypothetical ways to be horrible to people that it have, no one have ever <laughs> dang it, thought that's of. So funny. <laughs> <sighs> it was we were we were watching a show. I think it was. Uh, married at first sight or something like that when one of them wanted to like sleep in the dog bed or sleep near the once got slept in a dog bed and grace was like what if i tweeted from my account just an amazon link to a dog bed out of nowhere to this guy like subtle <laughs> like absolute confusing <laughs> mean things uh, I love that and how so funny much. who grace doesn't make fun of or be mean to anybody and she just out of nowhere no words just, <laughs> here's this little dude i love a well-placed out of character <laughs> just move <laughs> like it's so creative it, but it's like meticulous planning like dude i, I i'm never gonna do this so i'll just tell you guys but during the pandemic, when the the height of the pandemic, during the sh the lockdown stuff in LA, uh, I was gonna learn like how to line dance really well, like just like absolute like perfect line dancing, and then I was just gonna bust out line dancing like randomly out of nowhere, and then show you guys like how fucking good at it I was. Because the long I play. That'd be so out of character for me to be really great good long play. <laughs> Yep. But so uh, good. I, but I never did it because I don't care. How about this though? It's a lot of commitment uh, for Nala though. From experience, if you go to a cowboy bar, if you go to some Western themed <laughs> establishment <laughs> on line dancing it? night, it's really fun. And, I know it is, and I very know. accessible. I know it's very fun. I know it's not it's not super hard, but if you're really good at it, it's like whoa, that guy's really good at line dancing. <laughs> yeah, I wish I, I had. Recommend. I wish I had some skill that someone didn't know I had. Right, I that's what really I'm saying. Cool. Like, I felt that way back when. Like, remember when like 98 percent of the people that worked at SourceFed could juggle like really well <laughs> but mm -hmm. like me and will couldn't <laughs> like we were the only people that couldn't i was very i was very impressed by your guys ability to juggle <laughs> I, I don't i don't i cannot do it i don't know i i don't have the skills well, that's why you're not invited to the meetings <laughs> <laughs> the juggle meeting <laughs> That's why you're not a juggalo. We uh, Grace uh, and I went when we get, when we eloped. We did it because it was on the same weekend as the juggling convention, and so she, <laughs> God. we hit two birds with one stone. Right. Well, three oh. birds because we were juggling. yeah, of course. I support it. <laughs> um. All right, everybody. All right, Elliot, 
Motherfuck, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Right? Thanks, guys. What a beautiful couple. You guys looked uh, wonderful in your photos. It was very, very uh, adorable and classy. And they will be our thumbnail. Thank you very much. I wanted to cry, Absolutely. but I couldn't be bothered. Uh, yes, it was wonderful, beautiful experience. It's, we're just so tired right now, so I'll just talk more about it when I have a little bit more energy. But we have to go on a honeymoon now. With I have to go on a honeymoon with my wife. Do you have a plan? Crazy. Do you know where you're going? You don't have to talk. We're going to Joshua Tree. Ooh, about an hour. That's wonderful. Well, I hope you do ayahuasca and find yourself. Uh, yeah. Well, we were doing. We're gonna do line dancing, but yeah, same thing. <laughs> so. Line dancing and ayahuasca mm -hmm. <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> um thanks guys well, and uh joe let's talk maybe more next episode about your new job maybe you'll be a little oh, bit more settled in it since you yeah, it up. I don't yeah i'd love people. to talk about it joe Ooh, i'll have Explain. thoughts yeah and then we'll talk more about that case where i ran over a child with of course my car and yeah, actually we'll, yeah, we should deep deep dive into that we'll get into it as soon as the trial's soon. done yeah, we'll be yeah. fine. and that'll go yeah. fine that'll be smooth yeah, yeah. Fine. But uh, but thank you guys for listening. YouTube.com slash The Valley Folk if you want to watch the video version of this and check out the Chombone Champ videos I was showing the boys and see our beautiful faces, of course. And thanks to the patrons. Thank mm. you to people who watch the Twitch streams. Mm. Thank you to and... Chaplain Steve. Yeah, that's right, Chaplain Steve, for being creepy and making you feel uncomfortable. Elliot. And Steve Zaragoza. For also making you feel uncomfortable. God dang, sexy firefighters. <laughs> All right, have a good Five one, guys. Them. Five. <laughs> what a wonderful time to be alive. All right, goodbye, everybody. Bye.